everybody, it's good to see you. Today I'm just going to give you a little update, a little follow-up on how to kill green hair algae in your aquarium forever. So a while back I had a crazy green hair algae outbreak. It was bad. It was this. Who is this beast? Alright, get up. No? Okay. Lay. had to say hi. So I tried all the things. I tried water changes like crazy, 50% even. I turned the lights off for a week at a time. I covered the tank to not allow sunlight in to hit it. But I've had this tank for a few years with the window right here and it was never a problem. Then I had a crazy outbreak. Check out the video to show you how bad this outbreak was. It went from nothing to craziness. Like I said, the algae was about four inches long on all the rocks. It looked crazy. It looked like all my live rock was wearing wigs. Nothing worked. You know what worked? For good, and it only took about a week? Hydrogen peroxide. This works. And you don't have to put drops in and then let it break up and then stick your hand in the tank and take the green hair algae out. It just dissolves. And I've got links to the video showing how it just bubbles away. It just literally fizzles away. Just like when you put hydrogen peroxide on a cut. It bubbles. Same thing, it bubbles out because the hydrogen peroxide destroys and kills the green hair algae down to the core. It's fine for your fish. Your corals get a little agitated, but after about four or five days, they're totally fine. I found a bunch of people doing this online with great success, never a failure. And I found a few people that dose hydrogen peroxide maybe once a week to keep it gone forever, which is what I'm gonna do. I don't have any issues with it still, but I got this bottle to show you what it looks like when it arrives and also so I can dose once a week, just a little bit. There's a link to the video description of where to get it. I get all my stuff on Amazon. This is food grade hydrogen peroxide. You can get any hydrogen peroxide. It doesn't have to be this brand. Just make sure you get the food grade because it's better and make sure it's at least 12%. I think the store bought is 2%. You can put it right in the tank or right in your sump, whatever. I got a little syringe. They used to sell this in 35% hydrogen peroxide strength. So for that, I was dosing one milliliter per 10 gallons. So that would be 12 milliliters for this tank. It's 125 gallon. I just did 12. I could have done 12.5, but I did 12. I didn't include the sump or it would have been like 15 milliliters, whatever. So for 12, you could triple it. So three milliliters per 10 gallons. Do two, go up to three, see how your tank handles it. I highly suggest wearing gloves, link to the gloves I use as well. Because if not, and you get this on your skin, it'll burn you. It won't be an emergency by any means. It just feels like a sunburn. A little uncomfortable for a few minutes. So I would suggest wearing gloves. Hydrogen peroxide, 12% food grade by Blue Bonic Industries. This is what I use. This is what I get. I love it. It comes sealed. I'm going to put some in the tank right now. Just to give you an idea. Fish can swim through it. There's no issue. 12% food grade. A link to this in the video description. That's it. I just poured like the equivalent of a half a teaspoon right into the tank. And that's enough to go through the water column and destroy any possible green hair algae or algae on the glass from taking hold. I don't dose anything in the tank at all except for calcium crystals, every other water change, which I do a water change once a week of 10%. If I see green hair algae, not green hair algae, but if I see a little algae on the glass, I just scrape it off. And this also clears the water up too. 
because it knocks down the phosphates which feeds the green hair algae and the green algae on the glass. Green algae on the glass, chances are your phosphates are a little higher. This gets rid of them and it breaks down the algae. Okay, so this could be used to control it. Yes, you should always, always find the source of the problem. Either you're feeding your fish too much or there is too much sunlight blasting your tank. So I got this as like a little preventative. Did I need to purchase this? No. But I did because I wanted to show you guys how it comes and how I dosed it. Alright, I just eyeballed it. I put like a teaspoon in. Maybe I'll do another teaspoon next week. And I have noticed the water clarity jump up. So it looks like the fish are kind of floating in midair. Um, it, it's great. This is by far one of the best products I've ever purchased. And it's inexpensive and it's gonna last a long time this is 32 fluid ounces so thanks for watching guys give the video a like join our Facebook group check out the video description for all the gear that I use also links to my other YouTube channels and our Facebook group tons of people there approaching a thousand members great people willing to help out with your saltwater aquarium needs there are no jerks allowed it's a very nice community so whether you're starting in the saltwater tank hobby or you're a seasoned veteran so have a great weekend i'll see you next time